Hello, friends. Uh, welcome to the session. I'll not consume too much of time here. Um, and I have a few quick steps for people who have already completed their projects. Right? If you have completed your project successfully, meaning if you have cleared your Viva, then I'll have the next steps on what has to be done. Sorry. So I'll make use of mind map, friends, and I'll quickly touch upon the key things which I'm thinking from my perspective, which will certainly add value to you all. And um, you all can certainly use the chat window or raise your hand for an interactive discussion. Post this. I'll take probably just five minutes. Yeah, I'll not take more than five minutes. So friends, next steps to Uh, get into this field of data science and data analytics, okay? <clears throat> what I feel from my perspective is that once you're done with your project, you're doing a lot of things, right? While you are getting those additional certifications, okay? And you are getting these additional certifications from 360 digit MG, of course, you'll get that from IBM, from NASCOM, Future Skills Prime. Okay, you're clearing Python and you're also clearing data science. Okay, then people who are uh, eligible, they are taking UTM certifications. And people, you also will be given an option to consider State University of New York. Obviously, this is the largest university of USA, okay? And we are bringing in certain machine learning certifications, machine learning on AWS, machine learning on Azure, Google Cloud Platform. <clears throat> because organizations are moving towards this. Fine, you're doing all these things. Second thing is you're working on your project. And then you are doing multiple things such as clearing Viva, After, uh, sorry, clearing, not creating. Okay, you're clearing Viva sessions. Post clearing Viva sessions. Okay, even before you clear Viva sessions, what are you doing? You are creating a video of less than 30 seconds and posting on LinkedIn. to ensure that your resume is <clears throat> going to catch the attention of different stakeholders you're doing. Second, I'm sure you're updating your job portals with latest details. <clears throat> Even before that, I'm sure you're looking at sample of project, the way it has to be written on resume. Okay. You're looking at the sample of the project, the way it has to be written on resume and you're updating your resume on those lines. Then you go and put that on your job portals. I'm sure you're also doing this. Okay, and I'm also pretty sure that you're updating your LinkedIn profile as well. In LinkedIn, you also have an option to update your profile where you can update your resume. Okay. 
with resume as well as project details. And I'm sure you are mentioning yourself as an intern working with <clears throat> in no data text, intern. Then what, why is the session needed? All these things are anyways we are doing. Why, why are you, you know, wasting our time by calling us for this particular meeting? Might be your take. So let me quickly rearrange these so that people who are not aware on what has to be done, they do these. Okay. <clears throat> So next thing is, next steps. I would call these as advanced steps. Step number one is, while a lot of people are working in a disciplined manner on the projects, can we take it to the next level? Can we actually push the needle a bit, uh, a bit and then publish the projects in leading research forums. What will happen? In your resume, alongside your project, you'll also mention that my project got published in this research forum, which is one of the leading forums when it comes to machine learning and AI. Do you guys think and really believe that by doing this, your resume will stand a clear chance of getting shortlisted? Of course, with our guidance, we'll be guiding you on how to do this. But this will be done in groups of three to four people. And as part of Viva, I will be shortlisting people who are really interested in this. Because the moment you mention that you're project that you have worked upon got published in one of the leading forums, leading research forums, then it's going to leave a different impression on the interviewer also. Not just the HR person who is shortlisting your resume, but on the interviewer also. <clears throat> Second important thing. We need not write a very big lengthy book. Heart. However, you can certainly write an ebook on specific, you know, modules and topics, which once again, I would guide you personally. And then I'll uh, ensure that I'll also direct you on how to get this particular ebook published on packet publishing and some other forums like Aureli, et cetera. Just imagine you putting this information on your resume. And if you say that, do you know what? I've written a book, okay? Which is published in one of the leading uh, book publishers. It is published with one of the leading book publishers. It won't take a lot of time. While you are searching for a job, you can in parallel do it. But again, it should happen in teams of three to four. Not more than uh, four people should be there. Three, I would say three is ideal. Now, when you talk to an interviewer, when you say that, do you know what? I actually have written a book. What is the kind of impression that you're going to leave on that interviewer? It need not be end to end data science, my dear friends. I'm, I'm, I'm saying very specifically, we will write about you know, um, only forecasting topics, maybe advanced forecasting topics. Maybe specifically you'll write a book on auto EDA, auto data prep, or specifically you'll write a book on auto ML. Of course, if you want to separately do it, you can do it. If you want to do it 
in collaboration with us, then you'll have to notify as part of your Viva session only. The reason why I thought about these two things is multifold friends. One is a lot of people are getting trained and they're applying for jobs, of course. To clear that interview, they also should have knowledge. No doubt about that. And your resume should be standing out from the crowd, from the remaining people who are, who are applying. With these external and additional certifications, sure. And with the kind of projects that you're working, um, anyone who reads that particular project will understand that it's not a dummy project. Okay, it's basically a real-time project. They'll anyways understand that the moment they read. So chances of your resume getting shortlisted would become, um, I mean, it would increase given the certifications and given the kind of project that you're working on. And we are also ensuring that through LinkedIn, by updating your resume on uh, job portals, et cetera, you stay always ahead of the race to ensure that your resume gets shortlisted and you attend as many interviews as possible. Okay. Alongside that, if you do these things, this is going to truly differentiate you. It is very easy to replicate the other things. Of course, Sony, it's not uh, easy. Sony modules. UTM is also not easy because not uh, every training institute has uh, these accreditations. These two will be unique, no doubt about that. And another thing which will be unique is these two. Remaining things, it is very easy to copy. Almost everyone uh, you know, uh, would be doing these things. And if they understand that we are doing it, the other competitors will follow the suite. However, these two really needs effort. Only if your project is different, only if your project is um, a project has a lot of interesting challenges, your project will get published in the research forums. And only if you have plagiarism content, your book will come. It can be as simple as only 50 pages, friends. Or it can be as simple as only, um, yeah, well, as simple as 30, 40 pages. With that also, we can get a book published, provided there is some really unique content in that. That I have, uh, you know, far too many ideas around that. This is what I'm thinking, friends which will truly differentiate you guys in terms of getting a job, in terms of uh, you know, moving ahead. Yeah. Now I'm open for questions, if you have any. That's it. This is all I had for this particular session. Anyways, I've recorded. I'll just stop it.